tell me, was lying about the alibi your idea? I understand you don't want to get Ruby into trouble. But she didn't mind involving you in this mess for her own personal gain, did she? I don't see what difference it makes. Xavier's told you what you need to know. I'm sure you think Ruby is incapable of putting herself first, but how can you be so sure? Because I know her. If she was doing it for Charlie, why else would she be doing it? Well, she was providing herself with an alibi at the same time, wasn't she? She doesn't need an alibi. She didn't do anything. And she wouldn't use me like that. Do you trust her completely, do you? It's all right, you don't have to answer that. And I already know she pressured you to come forward with the alibi. So all you have to do now is answer truthfully, OK? Did Ruby Buckton ask you to fabricate the alibi story? Yes. Flavia, if Charlie didn't murder Bledco, you've got nothing to worry about. If you did, you've just done the right thing, haven't you? I'm still a bit worried you're taking on too much, juggling this new job and school. You don't need to worry about me, Charlie. I'm fine. Well, I know you haven't been sleeping well. Yeah, and you also know that I'm old enough to look after myself. Anyway, how are you? Things still cool with Angelo? Yeah, actually, I think we're finally starting to sort some stuff out. Charlie? You need to return my calls. I know you're upset about this, but we can't ignore it. Call me back, please. So you're still not going to tell me what this big fight between you and Ross was about? We disagreed on a couple of things. Really? Because you were angry, Charlie. You wouldn't even come back to the house and say goodbye to him. I've got to get home, but I'll talk to you later, OK? OK. Okay, mate. He told the truth, which can be a shattering experience. Don't let any pangs of guilt undo the good you've done this afternoon, all right? Meaning what? He's not to contact Ruby under any circumstance to inform her of his confession. Impeding a police investigation is a very serious offence. I just want to go home. Come on, let's go. Is he being charged with anything? Not at this stage. What about Ruby? Is she in trouble? I think you should worry more about your brother and let me worry about the good family, Buckton. Don't even think about warning Charlie. You'll be handing him your head on a platter as well as making things even harder for Charlie. Hello, Maura Bellingham. Oh, um, Martha, darling, can I ring you back after dinner? Well, did Robertson actually say he was going to arrest them? I wasn't expecting to see you tonight. I was hoping to see you, although technically I'm still on the clock. Oh, so it's not a social call. What a shame. Just so you know, you could kind of recommend saying something like that. Is that a fact? On rocks in stormy waters. Is Charlie about? Yeah, sure, grab her. Charlie! I'll leave you to it. If this is about pulling another all-night stakeout, you can forget it. I'm off duty. Actually, I'm looking for Ruby. I went to Irene Roberts' house, but she wasn't there. Any idea where she might be? No, why? Is she here? No, she's not. Is there something wrong? Is Ruby all right? In a physical sense, as far as I know, she's fine. But something is wrong, yes. So in that regards, no, she's not all right. Ah, Battleship. Just in time, I'd say. And so I've decided if Charlie's not going to tell me what Ross said, then I'm just going to ask him myself. You know, you're really thirsty tonight. Yeah, I know. It's his job. It takes it out of me. Yeah, but the problem is, it means you have to go to the toilet a lot too. What, again? Huh? Yes, Jeffrey. And just so you know, it's not the coolest thing to remind a girl of, OK? Well, uh, unless my eyes are deceiving me, it looks to me like you and Ruby are getting on like a house on fire. Yeah, we're good now. Oh, I'm glad you got it sorted out, though. <laughs> oh, dear. 
Damn, this looks official. Yes, it is. I'm trying to track down Ruby Buckton. Have you seen her this evening? Is everything all right? Is Charlie all right? Why is everyone asking impossible questions tonight? Is everything okay? Finally, a question I can answer. Ruby Buckton, for providing false information to a homicide investigation, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Admit it. You're grasping at straws. You're only doing this to put more pressure on Charlie. If you want to bring me up to speed as to your whereabouts on murder night, maybe you can save Ruby some hardship. If you think I killed him or that Ruby had anything to do with this, you're out of your mind. You know, if I had a dollar for every time someone said that to me, I'd buy a round trip to the moon. Business class. Yes, sir. Warrants for three residences. Of course. I look forward to your call. I tried reasoning with you. I'm sorry. Are you all right? And they treated you okay. They brought me here in handcuffs. What? You cuffed her? Well, no, technically she did it. Under orders. Are you out of your mind? Make that trip first class. I love those sleeper beds. Ladies, interview room awaits. I already know that the alibi you provided for Charlie was false. It wasn't Charlie was at home like I said she was. Well, you can't be sure of that since you weren't there. And I know that too because Xavier opened up like a flower in bloom. Very delicate, but very precise. No, I don't believe you. No, that's true, Ruby. Xavier retracted his statement. Are you really that surprised, Rubes? I mean, you were using him after all. I wasn't using him, and don't you call me Rubes. It was your idea to come up with the alibi, wasn't it? At least that's what Xavier told us earlier. Look, believe me, I sympathise. You care about your sister. I mean, your mother. Oh, so hard to keep up, so many emotions in play. I can see why you two wanted Blebco dead. It resolves a lot of tension. Look, if you're going to charge me, then charge me, but stop harassing Ruby. <laughs> Did Charlie put you up to it? What? No, there is no way that she would do that. Then why did you lie? I didn't. Charlie was at home. I don't care what Xavier said. Xavier Austin is the worst liar I've ever seen. Which is to his credit, really. He's not capable of telling one terrible lie, then turning around and backing it up with another one. The knife just ain't that sharp. You made him lie, and now he's telling the truth. I didn't make truth. him do anything. And if you don't admit that the alibi was false right now, I'm going to charge you and throw you in the lockup and let your mother here worry about you for the next eight hours. Is that what you want? No. Then tell me the truth. OK. OK, I lied. I made the alibi, but Charlie didn't do it. Okay, I know she didn't do it. I'm sorry, Charlie. Hey, hey. What you did was illegal, but it was also admirable. Protecting the ones we love is a much neglected virtue in human nature. You can take her home after she signed a statement retracting the alibi. What about the charges? I'm not going to charge a 16-year-old girl for lying. Do you know what kind of precedent that would set? Oh, finally some common sense, Detective. But you are officially a prime suspect again, which means you can leave your badge and gun at the door. Boring, I know, but cheer up, ladies and battleship. This will all be over very soon, one way or another. <laughs>